Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury and a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and like the videos that you enjoy. Today I want to do a very detailed review. This is requested based on my last video where I unboxed my Dami Van Louis Vuitton desk agenda. And as you can see, I have it quite stuffed. I've had it for a month now. You saw the video, the unboxing, after I'd had it for about five weeks, and I have been using it. I wanted to wait that long so that I could use it and give you a real flip through and show you how I'm really using it and get a sense of it. So that's what I'm doing today. It is very detailed, kind of a long video, but you'll get a really good sense of how I'm using it. I have two notebooks in here. One is for work, which I'm a teacher if you don't know that. So if you're a teacher, maybe you'll get some good ideas from that. And then the other notebook is personal. And then I also have a few uh, luxury things in here and a few tips for how to keep the desk agenda in better shape as you use it. And mine is one that goes back and forth with me. It travels a lot. So I'm hoping these things will help me keep it in great condition. Enough of the intro, let's get into the flip through. Okay, hey, this is the first time I'm trying this kind of setup, so let's see how it goes. It's a little bit awkward for me here. But we will open the desk agenda and I'll tell you about all the things that I have inside and where I got them. So let's start with these stickers. These are the alphabet stickers that I have talked about before. I got them at Hobby Lobby and it looks like a Vuitton hot stamp. So I just put the sticker down and then with my fingernail, I rub it into the grooves. They're removable. They do get damaged after a while, but it's taken me a few years with other planners before I really noticed the damage enough that I'd want to replace the stickers. So I've been very happy with them. And if you ever decide to sell the piece, then you can just remove the stickers. These inserts here, I'm gonna take these two out for a second. This is one card, it was a dashboard that I ordered from Etsy from a shop called Naomi Love Designs. I just thought that was really pretty and I thought the colors of this and this went pretty well together. The paper clip, little camera paper clip, I also got from Hobby Lobby. And then these little cutouts. For some reason when I went into my Etsy purchases, they weren't there anymore, so I don't know what that means but they were part of a couple of sets of cutouts that I bought, and then I laminated them. I don't have a lamination machine, but I just used that lamination paper that you can peel off and then stick it together. So that's how I did that, and I've got my little collection of luxury things in the pocket there. The secretarial pocket, I don't have anything in right now, but when I've been at meetings and we get papers, I've been putting that in there. And then when I get back to work or home, I take it and put it in other folders. I have two notebooks in here, these two books, one in the front pocket and then one in the back pocket. And I'll talk about those in some detail. This notebook obviously is a disc bound planner and it's a hodgepodge of different things. So I got the discs from Amazon and I'll put the link for that below. They're gold metal discs and they are solid. So they're not like the happy planner where they have a little heart or something in them. I have this black piece in here and I'll show you another one just like it in a second. That just keeps the notebook attached inside the pocket. I have noticed, not sure if it'll show up. Yeah, I think you can see it pretty well there. There are little indentations already. I've only had this for about a month and there are indentations on the leather there. So that is going to happen if you have any kind of spiral bound book in here. This cover, the front and back, I ordered from Etsy from a shop named Simmer and Sprout. And I'll link all these Etsy pieces in the description box below too. One thing I love about these Simmer and Sprout covers is that, I'm gonna cover up my personal information there, it has the design on both sides of the cover, so it's not just blank here. It doesn't have somebody's big advertisement. I like that a lot. The inserts I got from Staples from a Martha Stewart planner, disc bound planner that was already all put together, and I just 
took that as my base and took it apart, added a different cover and different rings. Got the camera paper clip there. This little section has my name, phone number, email. That's that. One of the things I liked about the Martha Stewart pack was that it has this information I haven't filled out yet, but it's nice to have that and already have a template for it, although it's easy enough to make your own. It also has all these holidays, which is nice to have these calendars this goes from 2018 to 2021 years at a glance that can be helpful honestly though the holidays and things like this i forget that they're even in here but every once in a while it is nice to have that to reference when i remember they're there special dates i haven't put that down look jill mauer it has birthstones zodiac signs i personally don't believe in that so that doesn't mean anything to me clothing sizes i don't really need either unless i decide to get a pair of chanel ballet flats in which case i'll need to know what my size is so the shoe size over here would come in handy conversions can come in handy too although actually for both of those when I want to know that information, I just go to Google. Now this is what I was talking about that's holding the book into that front slip cover up here. This is from Staples. It was a pack of five plastic black dividers with the little tabs on them. And I'm just using that as a divider here. This book, should have mentioned that earlier, the book in the front I use for work, the book in the back I use for personal. And that's something that's very handy for me to have the desk agenda that holds it all in one place, keeps it very well organized. So this book is work and what I have found that works best for me when I am doing any agendas is to have accents in gold and then everything else in black pen. That's just the color combination that I like. So here I'm gonna put in our bell schedules and I have a lot of extra note pages slipped in here. I wanted to show you guys this in a really real way. Like I am very much using this right now. I take notes sometimes in other places and I will slip them into the place in this notebook where it belongs and I can go back and transfer the information there later. The next page has contacts, which I won't show you. This is procedures for requesting time off. I'm covering up people's phone numbers and those procedures are from a different year. Here I'm transferring information to the current year. Here's a days off tracker and I'm using post-its right now to list the things that I wanna have on the page before I go ahead and make the tracker. So hopefully I won't make a mistake and need to get rid of that page and start over. So my days off tracker will have the date, the reason I'm taking time off, the kind of time requested. We have to specify like if it's a personal day, a sick day, jury duty day, professional development day, things like that, that I've entered it in the different softwares approved by the principal, texted our secretary with a confirmation number that I've got a substitute lined up and whether I've created and sent my lesson plans for the substitute. This will be my log for the morning announcements that I submit. So like when our yearbook goes on sale, accomplishments that the students have made that we want to announce to the school, we call those brags, the brag sheet. And this is a page for announcements for our PTO newsletter. Here's our brag sheet tracker. Some of the things that we participate in throughout the school year, like the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Photography Contest, Scholastic, collaborations we've done, things like that. Different places we could go on field trips. I'll be listing the field trip procedure too for scheduling buses and scheduling the field trips and contacting the nurse for medical issues with all the kids that we need to be aware of. All my passwords, my supplies wish list, so things I need for my classroom. I also have this post-it that has the sizes of my bulletin boards, so if I wanna go out and purchase different fabric to cover them, I have the dimensions right here with me. And then these are the numbers for all the ink cartridges for the photo printer in my room. And then once I place orders for the supplies, I'm gonna track that here. And then I'll put information for grants and funding here. The students give us gifts throughout the year and I like to keep track of that so I can send the parents thank you notes. So I've prepared that here so I can go ahead and get started. You'll notice that I have several of these. They're also tab dividers, but they're like bookmarks and the tabs are at the top. These are also Martha Stewart from Staples. I thought this was a really cute collection because some of them have botanical like flowers and things and others have animals you'll see throughout that. The colors are okay. They don't go perfectly with the other colors in my agenda here, 
but I think they work pretty well and they're cute and they're very functional. This is my tracker for professional development that I'll be taking throughout the year. They have a bunch of online courses for us that we have to do at the beginning and there's more on the back here. I have to this is all the professional development we've already done. We've only been in school for three weeks. This is my certification tracker. This is my teacher certification, my CPR certification. I have to renew that every two years. And then here I have notes from different professional developments that we have done. And I'm keeping track of the date, the schedules for the professional development. These were the first two weeks of school on this one page. And then for each day I have different notes or each section. I have notes. Here I'll have a list of ideas for professional development that can be taught by our fine arts team at school. I already have a few ideas, I just haven't transferred them here yet. We have an art teachers conference coming up in Galveston in November that the visual arts team is planning to go to, so I've started a page of conference information there. Here's another of those bookmarks, the cute little bunny. This will be a log of all our fine arts and visual arts meetings with dates, times, and then I'll have notes on other pages. The next page is all my visual and fine arts contacts in our school and through our district. Notes from one of our visual art meetings. We have display cases in the hallway that we put art, so I will put here a log of what we've put in them, how often we change them out, plans for what we want to put in them in certain months. Cute squirrel. This is my yearbook section. So this will have notes for yearbook and contacts on this page. Notes on this page. Athletics is a big part of our school and it's a big part of the yearbook too. So I keep a tracker of each team, who teaches it, whether if it's a fall or spring sport and anything else you see listed there on that orange sticky. Pretty bird. This is the photography section of my notebook. So I have some notes for different things related to my photography classes. And this is the bulk of what I teach, photography. So here I have some affirmations, positive things that I can say to students. And I mean, a lot of this stuff is already in my head, but it also helps to have a reminder written down that I come across sometimes. In one of our trainings this summer, we learned about something called the restorative circle. And it's also called, or something similar is also called a morning circle in some groups. I've started doing that and I need to log some of the ideas and questions that I have to ask the group during the circle. This was some professional development that I want to use in photography classes too. Sort of figuring out your personality style and then they're color coded. It also talks about love languages. I want to do some photo challenges on Fridays and it was actually inspired by this Jordan Matter. I'll link his channel below too. He has some pretty cool photography challenges with dancers, which gave me a great idea for us to pair my photographers with some of our dancers and do similar photo challenges. And I'm going to write other ideas here. This page, where is art or where is fine art, will have some ideas that I haven't transferred in yet about putting art across our campus. We have a visual arts t-shirt every year and I haven't transferred the notes in here yet. I was up, by the way, till midnight last night working on a lot of this and there's still so much that is not done yet. This page that I have folded over, I have one particular student who has some special needs that I have never dealt with before. So I have a page with people that I can contact to help me out with her. And I also have some ideas that I wanna try for accommodations for her. Pretty flower. This page, the IPDP, we call that the Ippy Dippy in my district. What this is, is you set as a teacher, you set a couple of goals for yourself throughout the year and things you can do to achieve that goal. And I wanna keep notes on it here. They have a form you fill out in, the, in one of the many software systems we use but I'm gonna keep a note here so I don't have to go into the software about what my goals are for the year. All right, this is pages that I want to have in this particular notebook. The ones with check marks by them, I've already made pages for, and then the ones with the little gold circles, I haven't yet. I wanna go into a little more detail before I figure out what I wanna call those pages and how many pages I'll need for them. This is a page I found from a previous year that has procedures for reporting child abuse or different kinds of abuse directed at students if we suspect that or a child tells us about it. So I wanna make sure that I include that in my notebook this year too. These are different departments that I can collaborate with and I need to make some hall passes and this was a list of different places my students go so I can make a different pass for each one. These are some business cards that have to do with school. 
This will be a list of ideas to collaborate with the art teachers, which is very easy for me to do because I'm also visual art. This is a list to collaborate with our cooking and urban agriculture teacher and her classes. We have chickens at my school and she's also building a butterfly garden. She just got a grant for that. The monarch butterfly population, if I remember what she said correctly, we've lost over 20% of the population. So there are grants to try to build butterfly gardens to help build the population back up as they migrate. And we will have one. We're gonna do some art around the school around the butterflies too. This page is about getting art more visible on our campus. These, This is a list of different places in the building where we could think about putting art. And we already have one particular idea in the works so I've made notes on that. And the rest of the pages are blank, but they will be filled up soon. Again, the back of the notebook has the design on both sides. That's my work notebook. Now let's get into the personal one. This isn't, both of these are A5 size, by the way. This is a Stalogy notebook. I purchased it from Amazon, and I also purchased this clear cover for it. And again, I will link those below. I wanna point out here that the notebook the desk agenda is actually brown on the inside, but I got a piece of felt from Michael's. I didn't even have to cut it. It was the perfect size, just those little sheets of felt, you know, and I slipped it into the pockets to help protect the section from the rings, even though I ended up getting the dents here I didn't even think about, but this does protect the spine from that. It also makes the cover feel a little padded which I really like. All right, the Stalogy notebook, I have this little gold clip on the outside here, and I forget off the top of my head where I got that, so I'll link it below. I actually have three of them. And open it up, the Stalogy notebook was actually a gray paper on the end sheets here, and I wanted something a little more lively and pretty, and that I felt suited my personality better. So I found this scrapbook paper at Michael's. It's a little heavier paper, and it has the gold foiling on it, and I just love all the little animals, because y'all know I'm an animal person. I just cut it down to size. I used a corner punch that I got from Hobby Lobby because these pages are rounded on the edge. And I used double-sided tape to stick it down. I have this little Louis Vuitton ribbon here from Christmas packaging a couple years ago and it kept slipping out so I put this gold paper clip in which I got at Staples or Office Depot, Office Max, I don't remember. And then these are some more cutouts from that same person. If you can't stop thinking about it, buy it. I have found that to be pretty true. And then a lovely little Chanel classic flap. On the inside here I have this piece of cellophane scrapbook paper and it doesn't even matter to me so much what it says. I just like the pattern of it and the gold color. So this is that gray that was on the inside of the Stalogy. And then I attached that with some washi paper. It's actually two different kinds of washi paper. There's a golden white stripe, washi tape, I mean, golden white stripe tape and then a white tape with those dogs on it. And one of the dogs is a dachshund, so I cut that out and put it down here. I have a little gold border that I drew which is one of my signatures in my drawings. I do that a lot. And then I wrote my name and phone number under this paper. I have a dachshund paper clip that I ordered on Amazon. If I can find that, I will link that below too. And then one thing that, I don't know if I saw this somewhere or if the idea just came to me, is to use gold paper clips because I, I need some kind of divider system in here, but it's a notebook. I can't move the pages around. I can't really attach anything in here. And since it's a lay flat book, when you put something in, like you would a normal bookmark, it doesn't really go into the spine and sort of stay there. It just falls out when you're carrying it around. So I needed some other way to mark my pages. I got these gold paper clips and then I got these little gold charms. These happen to be letters. I'll show you another charm that I've got on here. The first couple of pages here, I was working still on whether I wanted to buy a desk agenda. So I bought the Stalogy notebook first and I have ideas about what I would have in my notebooks and different projects and ideas. And then these are some ideas about things I would put in the notebooks and what notebook I would want to put it in and different kinds of notebooks. and. I mean, I was really planning it out and figuring out whether I really needed this desk agenda. And I think I said in my last video, I have not regretted it. I love this book. I've used it every day and it's wonderful. The Stalogy notebook, by the way, has a grid system. I don't know if that's gonna show up. It's a very light grid 
down the edge it's every other line on the grid is numbered i think it's 1 through 24 maybe so you could plan out your hours of the day if you want it also has this little tiny calendar up here that's pretty useless but yeah i have found that grid system to be very helpful especially since it's so light it doesn't get in the way you see the text but then you can also use the grid to make sure everything is straight and to draw straight lines. This is more planning for planners. Different supplies I would need for each notebook and I cross things off as I purchase them. And I thought, I saw somewhere, someone had a monthly divider and I was deciding what to put on those and I'll show you what I ended up with in a minute here. This page is super important. It's one of the most important pages in the book. It's a checklist and tracker for my YouTube videos. So each line of text that you see is a different video. And then I have columns to check off the things I do for each video. So whether I filmed it, whether I uploaded it to my computer, whether I've created a thumbnail image for it, whether I've created the Instagram image, whether I've emailed the Instagram image to myself so I can open it on my phone, download it, and then upload it to Instagram, whether I've edited the video, rendered the video, scheduled the video to upload to YouTube, and then the last one, which is the one I tend to slack off on, is actually posting the Instagram thumbnail to Instagram. So you can see what I've done, what I still have to do here at a glance, which is very helpful. And then as I'm editing, I make some notes here. LV Desk Agenda Setup Flip Through can check that one off the list. Okay, this is more planning of whether or not to buy the desk agenda. I couldn't stop thinking about it. You remember, if you can't stop thinking about it, buy it. Uh-huh. And also, you remember when I did the unboxing video and I told you how obsessed I was with the desk agenda? Here is evidence. I couldn't stop thinking about it, so I finally got to a point where I did sort of a journal entry on it and why I wanted it and why I didn't really need it, but why I wanted it anyway and why I wanted it even though the price was so ridiculous for what it is. I did a pros and cons list. I did a little sketch of the book and all the pockets and what I might put in them. And I was, of course, watching a bunch of YouTube videos on the desk agenda and different setups and different ideas for what people had in their books and the ways they used them. I was obsessed. Still kind of am. I love this thing. I also, one of the things that I love and spend money on besides luxury is food. I cook a lot and I watch YouTube videos about cooking and different recipes and here's some sort of Mediterranean diet information, some recipe ideas for different meals, smoothie mix-ins. I sometimes get stuck and then I can check my list and be like, oh yeah, I can take all those different things. Some healthy snacks that are easy to pack and take with me for work or wherever else. Some quick recipes that are all healthy. Here's another one of those gold clips. They're kind of heavy to have on these pages. These pages are pretty thin. And that's one thing you might notice too about the Stalogy book. See how you can see through the pages? So if that bothers you, this is not the right book. It doesn't bother me. I, I love it. Here is that month divider, the monthly divider I was telling you about. So I have it on a half page and the other half, I didn't want just the blank page. So I got this pretty scrapbook paper from, I think also from Michaels, attached it with washi. And then I have a little mini month at a glance that I attached with washi and put stickers and gold things, circled some important dates, wrote what those dates were. I got a quote from a notebook I have, and then I have July reflections and August goals. So I'm looking back at the previous month and ahead to the current month. It has been in August Houston restaurants weeks. Actually today when I'm filming this is the very last day of it. And this is a list of some of my favorite restaurants and just sort of a checklist of who has what meals and which ones I most wanted to go to. Sorry, that's blurry. Some more YouTube video notes. So in addition to that tracker, I have sections where I have a particular video that I wanna have notes on and I've put that in here. And then I can reference that when I'm filming. Just before school started again, the boyfriend and I took a trip up to Dripping Springs to some wineries and those were notes for that. We also went to the Painted Churches of Schulenburg beautiful. Here's some healthy food substitutions, like you can use coconut sugar instead of sugar or Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. That's helpful to know. And then vegetables, plant-based diet, um, where you can get calcium, protein, and extra water. More YouTube notes. More YouTube notes. The one I'm covering is a secret for now. And 
and my mom has decided well we both decided together she's taking me on a birthday trip and we have decided to go to the florida keys so i've started making notes on that she came over yesterday and we were doing some research we did one of the restaurant weeks brunches and i've started notes these are all places that i still need to research and then a possible agenda which is very much in the works if any of you have suggestions on where we should go we're coming in on a wednesday and leaving on a sunday so that doesn't give us much time we're flying in and out of miami and we plan to drive all the way down to key west with a few stops along the way and this will be my september monthly divider page which i have not yet set up but i have the little pieces here so i'll have the calendar the quote and the reflection and goals for the month. I thought this was a good quote for September since it's the beginning of the school year and questioning is all about learning. And then this last page, I've been skipping over other pages like this that I have previously in the book. This is a food tracker. I wanted to show you a blank one so you can see what it looks like. So I divided it into eight sections. The first section has goals for the week and then reflections for the week. So I fill this out on the first day and fill this out on the last day, Monday, Tuesday through Saturday, Sunday. And I have a water tracker here. I have my start and end weights. I am trying to lose weight, but I tell you what, so busy with work that I haven't had time to even think about cooking anything and eating healthy. It's very difficult. I just grab whatever I can this last few weeks. Uh, so I have the water tracker, pill tracker over there too, and then I'll track breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks in that section, and then I have a wellness tracker for every day. And that helps me keep track of several things. It could be an emotional state, it could be whether I have a cold or whether my back is bothering me or any number of other things, I have found that very helpful to go back and have that tracked and be able to see patterns. So this is a very important part of my notebook. And that is the most current page in here. The rest of it is blank for now. I think you can see there the grid that I was talking about and how light it is. Now on the back of the book, oh, I did want to show you too, that the charm I have here, maybe it's easier to see on this side on the white, it's a little fortune cookie charm, and I got that from Etsy, it's gold verme, and I knew what that was because of Jill Maurer. So I'll link that below too, they have other things besides fortune cookies that are very pretty. In the back of the book, I have this cellophane piece, it's the same as in the front with the golden white stripes and the dogs and then this little Dachshund Texas sticker from the American Doxy Company, which is a local Houston area husband and wife run business, and I will link them below also. That same paper in the back, and then in the back pockets, I have several little cutouts like this Speedy. I'll link whatever I can below. Those are all from Etsy. I have more quotes for future months. These are little calendars for future months. This is a thank you card from Target. I got a whole big pack of those. I always like to carry a thank you card for those unexpected times when you want to thank someone and do it in a nice way. People like getting cards. I love this cutout, the Chanel perfume. I'll link that below too. And then this is a guest pass that I have. I still need to go see this photography exhibit at the Houston Museum of Fine Arts. And it's called Icons of Style, A Century of Fashion Photography. Gotta go do that. There's also a professional development that I might take in a couple weeks that is on that show. And that is my desk agenda set up and flip through. Long, but for those of you who are interested, especially teachers in that first section, I hope that was very helpful for you. Please let me know if I missed anything. I'm gonna have about a thousand things linked below in the description box. Please let me know if I missed anything. It's all down there if you're interested in purchasing any of it. Or looking at some of the other things that these sellers have in their shops. I hope you got some good ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.